reason. I'm a big guy, it's going to spill over, and the theatre would like its stage kept intact. Obviously, you don't want crying eyes seeing too much of what's happening behind. So this will be in front of the can, so no one can see. Something I would like to address before I, before I do this. Some of you may be aware that the local press has recently carried a letter or a couple of letters which has referred to me not being the first person to do this escape, not just in Scotland, but in Peace and Galilee. I would like to be 100% clear on this because no magician and no escapologist, and I know many working internationally, has come up, come up to me and said, you're wrong, no one has. Anyone making claims that I am not the first, they are not magicians or escapologists, and the reason they are not aware of what I'm saying is because there are different ways to accomplish this. There are many different can and water escapes out there. Even ones that look similar to this, they operate with many different ways, such as this one is welded. Many are riveted because that is a totally different type of escape. Many, the locks are provided by members of the crew. Tonight I am hoping that some amongst you have got locks with you, have locks of your own. Some escape without handcuffs. I am using a set of handcuffs. To make it more legitimate in my eyes, I am using a set of 1960 uh, American Hyatt police handcuffs. I don't expect people in the audience to bring that. So, <laughs> there's the keys that go with it. That's where the differences lie. So I want that to be clear. It's just the people who have made reference are not aware of those things and hadn't asked me what, why I was actually making that claim and I would have told them exactly what I've just told you. I'm going to go in this in a second, and before I do that, I need to ask, does anybody here have any padlocks with them? Anyone brought any padlocks? There's a gentleman there, his hand up, he's got padlock, padlocks. I realize you're taking video, sir, but you're going to need to put the camera down for a second. And I would ask you to bring your locks and bring them up on stage, please. And you are, please. Uh, my name's Lee Met. I'm the manager of Poundland in Dumfries, and I brought nothing but Poundland's finest, fresh off my delivery. Bye, boy, in and out. I love it. I love it. Thank you very much. You do state these are from your store. These are from my store. And they're inside the packs. In the written packaging, untouched, untampered. I imagine you're probably the person who ordered them as well. I right? am actually, yes. <laughs> okay, so you've brought your, your padlocks. Uh -huh. All right, how this is going to work, I'm going to go, I would like you to open them up just now as well, please. And make sure you have the keys in, a, in an order so we know which are which. I'm going to go inside the can, acclimatise myself to the water temperature. Evil man. <laughs> Mr. Levay is going to put the handcuffs on me. I am then, I'll acclimatise myself again a little bit. <coughs> um, the lid will then be put on. And then when the lid is on, I would like you to put the padlocks in and through the Hasman staple as quickly as you can, please. Okay. In the past, I've trained myself to hold my breath for just shy of five minutes to do this. It normally takes me about four minutes, 30. I'm gonna try four minutes. Oh. But we'll, we'll see. Get myself 
acclimatised. Um, once the cover goes in front, Mr. Wonderful Sound and Light Man, you've done a great job, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause, please, for Sound and Light Man. <laughs> I would like you to play the piece of music because if I am out by the end of that piece of music, um, that's brilliant. Um, if not, Flavé, please take the keys, open these padlocks, and get me out. Um, should this go wrong and go badly, I will probably need CPR and resuscitation. Well, they'll do that. You can't really say how much more serious this, this can actually be. Um, so if he has to do that, please leave. <laughs> Tell a good good yoga. <sighs> Let me acclimatize myself first. Once you've snapped the, lock, the locks on, please go back to your seat. seconds in. I'd like you all to try holding your breath for a couple of minutes, see how long you can manage it for, and you might get an idea of what the magician is going through. seconds now. We are at 1 minute and 45 seconds. Two 
minutes and 30 seconds of down. seconds from the three minute mark. Oh my goodness. We are now over three minutes. 335. 335, three time I beg your pardon. Three minutes and fifteen seconds. seconds until four minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, I sure hope you enjoyed tonight's show. It's been with me, Professor Murray, Murray Magician, Club A, and Fia Cara. I hope you enjoyed the show. Stay close. <laughs>